Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a long overdue video on my series that I started probably like a few months ago and I have yet to keep up with it, so I will be doing that today. This is going to be the $5 and under blushes. <laughs> so basically any blushes that I pretty much have been loving, love, or use, of course, keeping in mind that they stay within the budget, which is five bucks, Endless. So without further ado, I don't want to make this intro too too long because well, I think the video might be long in itself because I have quite a few blushes. Also, um, you're probably here to watch the video, so who cares about the intro? So with that being said, let's get started. I'm gonna be going in no particular order. This is not gonna go from my least favorite to my most favorite, from my most favorite to my least favorite, or anything like that. Just products, I'm just going to be picking them up from a basket and I'm just gonna talk about them in no particular order. So the first product that I wanted to talk about, and coincidentally, it's the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the B Matte Blush by City Color and it is in the shade Papaya. This is what it looks like. I love this blush just for the simple fact that it is matte. I appreciate a nice matte creamy blush just because I feel like, yes, I love a shimmery blush. I love that. Not sparkly, shimmery. But I also love me a very rich, creamy, matte blush. And I feel like this is exactly that. When you put your finger inside of it, it feels super, super smooth and just super buttery too. I will say that a little bit goes a long way with these blushes, so you gotta be careful with it. You don't wanna, you know, overpack too much and then not take out the excess and then try to put it on your cheek because it's just gonna be a blob of pink or peach or whatever color blush you have. But you just gotta be very careful with it because like I said, a little bit goes a very, very long way. One thing I don't like about it or I'm not so crazy about is the packaging and that's probably going to be a problem for most of the blushes that I'm going to mention today just because if you keep in mind these are very inexpensive so I feel like a lot of these companies put more money into the product or the formula than they do into the packaging which is completely fine. i rather have me a cheap packaging and a good product versus great packaging and crap formula so you can pick this up on their website which is citycolorcosmetics.com this specific blush you can get for $4.99 on their website and it is an amazing product I stand by it completely and this shade is so beautiful the next blush that I wanted to talk about I actually feel that it's from a brand that is very overlooked here on YouTube and not really recognized this is the Essence Silky Touch Blush. I have had this blush for a little bit over eight or nine months now, and I cannot stress enough how good the formula is. This does not feel like something that is so stinking cheap. A beautiful, beautiful peachy color. Maybe if I tell you the shade, that'd be helpful, right? This is in the shade 80, Autumn Peach. And if you look at it on the Ulta website, because this is actually where I purchased it, you can get it off of Ulta. And um, if you see it on the website, it looks like a much harder, harsher, harsher, reddish, very deep, deep, deep color. So um, if you see it on the website, it will fool you just because it fooled me. When I saw it for the first time in person, I did not think this was a color that I purchased. I actually thought they sent me the wrong color. But I mean, it is what it is. I really like this just because it feels so silky and so expensive. This literally goes for $2.99. Isn't that freaking crazy? Like it's crazy. It is so silky. The name is spot on. Silky touch. Like you feel it and it just automatically, your finger just seeps into it. I mean, I love the color. I think it's very gorgeous. Vibrant peachy shade. I love it so, so, so much. They do have a very limited variety. So try to find the one that best suits you, but I'm not kidding. The formula is absolutely amazing. Definitely get your hands on it if you haven't. And like I said, you can get this at Ulta for $2.99 or anywhere where they sell Essence products. Contrary to the last blush that I showed you guys, this one is a cult fave. This is the NYX blush in the shade Mocha. I love these specifically because of their longevity. I remember putting this on at the beginning of the day, and I swear to God, I still had this on at nighttime. This blush lasts so long on my skin. These are so good and so inexpensive, and they have so many colors in their collection with these. So many colors that I'm sure everybody can find their perfect shade. This one is more of a mauve peachy color but that's just what I like to go for. I look for a lot of peach in my blushes versus pinks but either way 
absolutely gorgeous. This is $4.99 and you can get it at Target where they sell NYX or you can get it on the NYX website or you can get it pretty much anywhere where they have NYX. And you can get I wanted to give a shout out to this one right here. I will let you guys know it's a little bit over the budget but if you look at it as a whole. So I'm going to talk about the e.l.f. blush quad and it is this baby right here. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It brings you four different unique shades and I absolutely love it. I have mine in the dark quad. I have a light and a dark but I have the dark. It has a lot more mauve and deeper colors than the light one does for obvious reasons. This one is my favorite from the palette and this one is my least favorite. Honestly if I can get rid of this one I so would because honestly there is a large difference from shimmer to just straight up sparkles like th that's this right here they're so thick and the glitter in it is just so chunky honestly I couldn't I could never wear this because I just I really hate that one but I mean I guess three out of four isn't bad so you're getting for me at least I don't know if you'll like it but I have three shades here that I absolutely love you are only paying six dollars for the palette and if you really think about it which is why I wanted to mention it you're only paying like a buck fifty for each of the blushes I've worn these for a very long time throughout the day and I haven't seen any budging any smudging or just any any fading throughout the day they do hold up really well on my skin they aren't the most blendable though I will say they're not the most blendable but honestly they are very long lasting and to me that really does matter because I absolutely hate when I apply a blush and I need it to stay and the freaking thing starts coming off on me like within the next half hour or even less so I can really appreciate something that lasts really long on my skin honestly the fact that it's not that blendable I can look past that I'm not saying it's not blendable because I couldn't deal with something that's not blendable either they are so pigmented I will show you guys in the swatch. The way I have to do it is just put my brush in, literally tap out the excess like 30 times, and then go into my cheeks because it is so intense. Actually, this packaging is probably the best packaging of all of the products that I got to show you guys today because it's just... Elf went in on this one. I really think Elf went in. Good stuff. I wanted to give a quick shout out to this little guy right here. It's so old that I honestly can't even see the um, actual words anymore. But the Color Wheel Mosaic Powder. Oh, it's on the back too. Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. And this is in the color 723A Pink Cheek Glow. This is one of those things that I've had in my collection for a while now and I've never ever bothered to use it. Up until a few months ago when I was like, hmm... I was gonna buy it in the store and I'm like I think that looks familiar I think I have that already so this is what it looks like it pretty much brings you a few different shades of pink within the little blush itself you kind of just have to swirl them around and then just you know you get this kind of like a concoction of a pink this is a very 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 great blush you're not paying a lot of money for it so it's definitely a bargain and something i really appreciate about this is that it's not super super duper pigmented i have mentioned quite a few blushes already that are very pigmented and very harsh when you initially apply them and you have to be very careful because then you're going to get too much on your face and you don't want that so i can definitely appreciate a blush that makes me work a little bit harder to get the color payoff just because at that point it gives me the opportunity to kind of just build the intensity to how i want it not just boom here you go here's a ton of pigmentation I gotta blend it out you know what I mean so I really like that about this blush and I also really like that it's long lasting too I mean pretty much all of these I feel like I'm saying the same thing they are honestly very long lasting on me like I said before I look for longevity in my blushes just because I cannot stand something or period I cannot stand when I put makeup on and the freaking stuff starts wiping off of my face within minutes because let's be honest you're putting makeup on for a reason because you want it to last on you not because you want it to come off you can pick this up at any Walgreens or CVS or drugstore near you that sells NYC this isn't NYX this is NYC and this costs you about three dollars so yeah definitely check this out if you haven't and absolutely beautiful I love this color too I, I know that I mentioned that I like peachy but for some reason I can get away with this pink and it doesn't bother me so I really like it the packaging it's not there I'm telling you right now it's super cheap but I mean like I said Touching up on e.l.f. again, I wanted to mention another one of their blushes that I have recently been loving. This is the e.l.f. Mineral Pressed Blush in the shade Coba Cabana. 
Cabo Cabana. It does have some glitters in it. They are finely milled, so they do not bother me. This is a very beautiful, peachy, vibrant shade. This is very beautiful, very pigmented, and very, very, very blendable. It's one of those where you put it on and it just, it really molds to how you want it to look. This is going to cost you $5 on the e.l.f. website. You can check Target, but my Target doesn't seem to sell the mineral e.l.f. line. So, I mean, I can't really get it at Target, but definitely check out e.l.f online and they probably will have it because that's where I bought it. <laughs> I will be linking all of these products down below if they have a website or if they have any kind of links that I can find. I don't, I'm not affiliated with anybody. I mean, nobody even knows me, so I'm just going to find links on Target or on the websites themselves if I can find them and I will be listing them in the description box down below. So I wanted to talk about another cult fave here on YouTube. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blusher in the shade pearlescent pink. This is what it looks like. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peachy color. Once again, surprise, surprise. <laughs> and um, this is another one that has shimmer in it. It doesn't have glitters in it. They're very finely milled, so again, they don't bother me. If they bothered me, I wouldn't be showing them in this video. Trust me. This is another one that has a very limited amount of shades. It probably has like five or six, and that's, and that's probably a lot. It probably only has like five. Um, I do own all of them, but pearlescent pink is the one that I reach for the most. It's a perfect everyday blush because it is not super harsh, but it gives you that beautiful, like, blushing look on your face. You know, when you see that cute boy. How you doing? No? I absolutely love it. I think it's the perfect shade of peachy and pink at the same time. But yeah, it gives you that nice little flirty shimmer on your face. It's so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So check it out if you haven't. This is going to cost you $2. Two freaking dollars at any Rite Aid, CVS, Walmart, anywhere where they sell Wet n Wild. It's going to cost you two freaking dollars. Isn't that crazy for this blush? The packaging is not there. Once again, it's flimsy as all hell. I've had the top break off so many times on the other ones that I own. I mean, it's really cheap. If you're somebody that is really into packaging and you like packaging more than you like your formula or you like your actual product, then this is not going to be for you, girl, because you are going to be very disappointed. I'm telling you, this stuff is magical. It's really, it's magical and crappy packaging. It's, it's, a, it, it's a unicorn in disguise, I'm telling you. One of the last ones that I wanted to mention is a oldie but a goodie. And I cannot stress enough how it's an oldie but a goodie. Here it is. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers. These have been around for ages. These have been around probably longer than I have ever been born. A classic. I absolutely love it. It's just that beautiful, like, neutral toned mauve color. It's going to be perfect for you if you have medium to deep skin tones. Because this might be too dark for you if you have very fair skin. So... Like I said, definitely check these out. Again, the packaging isn't so great. And what I really dislike about these and what I wish they would stop doing is making them this awkward shape. I feel like if they want to keep it at the, you know, the 0.12 ounces of product, that's fine. But can you at least shape it different? Because this little strip is so annoying. It's super blendable and it's super long lasting. <laughs> Again, surprise, surprise. And this is another one that's very buildable. It's not super pigmented or super harsh when you initially apply it. You kind of have to work it in to get it to the desired color. It's not as sheer as the other one that I showed you guys, but this one is definitely buildable. So I do appreciate that. This is another one that's great for everyday wear. This costs about $3 or $3 to $4 at any drugstore that sells CoverGirl. So check it out if you have not. Okay, so that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it. I tried to change up my background because I was filming in front of the mirror and that was honestly getting on my last damn nerve because you could see the reflection of everything and the lights and everything and it was just so aggravating for me. So I'm just going to be filming with this wall behind me. I'm trying to get it decorated for you guys so it looks a little bit more appealing. I don't know what I'll put behind it, but for now, I got a Christmas tree. So you can't knock a girl for trying. I'm trying to get all festive for you guys. You like it? Do you like it? I know you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you found the video helpful, of course, because if you didn't like it, I don't expect you to like the video. So other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.